have to ask you about uh, Israel Adesanya coming into the cage tonight. Drigas Duplessy, the big win. I guess uh, the decision to bring him in, not something you do all the time. Well, there was a big debate over it. I didn't, I didn't want to do it. First of all, what I don't like to do is when you have somebody like Duplessis who just, big win for him, you know what I mean? He just beat the, the second best guy in the world in that division. And then, you know, somebody's going to get in their face and get aggressive with him again after they just got done getting out of a, a, a war. Um, but uh, Adesanya and I had a, had a debate over it, and he promised me that nothing crazy would happen. So we did it. You know, I know you say, hey, this is the fight business. People say nasty things, right? But the tension between those two and kind of the racial undertones and all those things, how do you... What were the racial undertones? Uh, Drigga says he's the real African fighter, and so, you know, Israel dropped some inwards yeah. in there tonight. So what was the racial... Who did? Who dropped the, the racial... Is Israel he? was saying over and over, yeah. Drop he's he's black. 50 in bombs. In okay, there. he's black. He... Who gives a shit? I was going to say, so you don't oh. have any concern about the way the build up, the tension between those two? I could care less. This is the fight business. Israel Asanya can say whatever he wants to say. Who gives a shit? Why, are, are people bitching about that? Some people. Of yeah. course they are. Oh, f a. All right, got it. Yeah. Too fing bad. All right. Yeah. Last thing for me, then, I just want to say that's a fight that everybody wants to see. Is nine weeks in Sydney a possibility? We haven't seen Drigas yet, so we don't know what kind of condition he's in. Is that a possibility, or is that too soon? I don't know. We got, we got to see. I mean, when you come out of a night like tonight, these fights were all tough wars. They were, you know, um, we'll see how these guys feel. And, and again, when you, when you come out of a fight like this, um, you know, like Pantoja and, and, and Moreno and, and Duplessis and uh, you got to give these guys a couple weeks to go home and relax and, you know, let their bodies heal and spend some time with their families. And it's just, it's just things that you just don't talk about right after the fight. Dana. Not that we haven't in the past and, you know, you make a fight if a guy had a great night or what. Robbie Lawler, if he wanted to fight again, there you go. You know what I mean? But he retired, so. Dana, to your uh, left. Yeah, no, he, he, he was blown away. He was basically talking about, he's like, God damn, this guy's huge. He's big. He's a big, strong guy. And he is. I mean, most of you have met him one-on-one. -on -one. You ever grab him, like, touch his arm or whatever? The guy's like this table. He's, he, he's, a, he's a beast, man. So, um, yeah, no. I don't, what was the question? Oh, yeah. You